Hi folks, Ron, field agronomist with Pioneer in Central Texas, doing a little bit of hail damage evaluation on corn. One of the things that happens as an agronomist every time there's a hail issue, a lot of customers want you to rush right out and look at a field. Nothing wrong with seeing what happened and maybe investigating, but it's always better to wait. This particular field I came out and saw right after the event the next day, but now we're at nine days later. I always use a rule of thumb of about 10. Let's look at a few examples that I will point to on some of the things that you can discover that have happened after hail damage to corn. For example, if you look here, this plant the day following might have been considered a viable plant. You can see by looking at it here, the brown necrosis, the dead tissue, and you'll notice that it's essentially rotten inside. That plant is dead. There will be no coming back. However, you might look right here and see a plant like this and notice the bruising to the stalk, the uh, damage to the leaves, and it's still wrapped up considerably. This plant probably will not be viable as well. However, the neighbor next to it that has new green tissue that's coming out, new leaves, even as bad as it looks down below, still is gonna be a viable plant. The big thing that is hard to understand or analyze when you rush right out there is, what other levels of damage do we have? One of the things you'll notice is, there's a lot of stock damage on some of these plants, bruising and such, that can open up for diseases like charcoal rot if it gets dry. You can also have rhizoc and some other things if it stays cool and wet. So coming right out right away, you may not get the real picture. For example, this plant the day after the hail damage, you might have not noticed that severe bruising that happened there. Well, how, how bad is it? Well, let's take an example here. If you've got stalks with a bruise like that, there can be some vascular tissue on the inside that's severely damaged even to the core. So let's say that plant survives and puts on a very viable ear even at harvest. This is going to be an issue. As that ear develops and gets heavier, that plant's going to lodge. So even though you may have viable grain there, you could have a lot of lodging. One of the recommendations that I would make in this situation, maybe to apply a little additional in to give this crop a little bit of a boost to get some foliage growing. And then also too, if you have silage as an option and you have this kind of stock damage, it'd be very viable to cut this for silage and not allow it to go for grain. So one of the most important things don't rush right out there and start making decisions. Take your time. Allow at least 10 days. Think about options, silage or grain. Think about harvest timing. Think about stand loss. How many plants will be viable and how many won't. Hope this helps. Y'all have a great season. Thank you for your business. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.